Guys, you can tell it's the evening. The sun's trying to sit behind the trees there. We're going to do a little evening bank fishing. Going to do something different today. We're throwing pre rigged swim baits. Pre rigged swim baits, what we're throwing. So, the ones I've got on are made by Berkeley. Got them here next to my heart. I'll show them to you here in a minute. See if we can catch something. We're down along a, sitting along a road. We can get the traffic. And uh, we're at a spot, guys, that everybody fishes. The ground is big here. There's trash laying here. Thank people for that. I don't understand. Don't understand people coming to fish from the bank on people's property. This is a private property. And they leave trash. But these are Berkeley power baits. I've got two, they're the same size, same bait, but one's different size. Uh, this one's three inch, and this is a two inch. I got a two inch on this white rod. This is just a loose rod, loose speed stick. I got six pound test on this one. I got eight pound test on the other Berkeley rod over there. And uh, it's got the three inch one on it. So, I have used these before and I have caught fish on them. So I wanted to share that with y'all. Let's see if the fish want to be on film today. Okay, look here, something, something broken right there. Maybe we can get some live action going here. Up. We hooked up, guys. Let's see if we can get this one in. We got one on the six pound here. Now, I might have to go in the water, guys. I can step down right here because there's some weeds and trees here to my left. That's why I've got the camera where I've got it. All right, I'm going to have to step down here. Oh, that's a nice one. We made a good job. I'll come over this way so y'all can see me. Oh, here he comes. So we can get our hands on this one, guys. Come here. All right. Look at that. Let me, let me come up with y'all, man. There you go. Now this is the two inch. It's six o'clock in the evening, guys. People are heading home. This little stretch of bank here, so. Apologize for the noise. If I can get my hand in here. How in the world did he do that? I can't get a hold of him. He's about 14 inches, guys. There it come. Let me throw him back real fast. I pitched him back here a little way, so I want to get him back in the water as fast as I can, guys. I usually don't throw him that far. It's about three foot, four foot angle hurt him. You can see what that bait was, all right? That was live action, wasn't it? Uh, in the evenings in the fall, the water's trying to cool. As this water's trying to cool, shad are coming through. We've seen a school shad. Mason's with me, he ain't showing how y'all see him over or not. When the water's trying to cool, the shad are running around here. We can see him. I can see another school way out there. When they get up against this bank, these bass will get after them. We're in a place to where the bass like to ambush the shad in the evening, and that's why we're fishing here. Can we see Mason down here? Mason's got one on the swim bait. Guess who else has got one on the swim bait? <laughs> I, live action, I went to adjust the camera, came back and started moving my bait, and BAM! He nailed it. 
Sometimes you get bit by it. I'm going to stand in the water, guys. Three people. Gotta get him out of the grass. If you're trying to go into grass, it's over here. There's another one, guys, on the small swim bait. Yeah. Now, Mason's throwing a Kitek. He's throwing a 2.8 inch Kitek. Uh, I'm throwing the little pogey. He's got it right at the bottom of his throat. Can y'all see Megan? Uh, Ma Mason? I said Megan. Okay. I'm going to throw him back. All right. He just hooked a little deep. I had to reach out and I'm going to get it. Again, I got, got a little dirty. That's what I'm throwing. This is this is made by Berkeley. And that's what I'm sharing with y'all this evening. When you're fishing from the bank somewhere and you know in the fall or in the spring, the shad are around. You're seeing shad. Y'all can't see it. It's another school with shad coming. We see, them, we see them kicking on the surface. So that's why we're throwing small swim baits. These are pogies. This one here is pearl white. And it's called a pogey swimmer shad, two inch. Pre-rigged. That's, uh, guys, I don't see many people using them. Uh, I haven't seen guys on YouTube talking about them. Everybody wants to throw the Kitex, and that's what Mason's throwing, and they work great. I throw them too. But if you don't have the money, these things are like $3 a bag, guys, and you get like six of them. You know, the Kitex are $6 just for the baits. Then you got to have the lead heads and all. So for, for three fifty four dollars $54, you can be throwing a swim bait. And that's what I'm sharing with you today. You don't have to have expensive stuff. Six-pound test. Uh, this is a Sarah rear drag. I like it for these small swim baits. That's what I use it for. Because once I got bass, he wanted to go into some grass over here. We got willow grass. I pulled him out of that willow grass. Once I got him out of the willow grass and I got close to me, I flip it this way, that it gives it easier drag. That way he won't break me off. Usually when a fish breaks you off, it's at the boat or at the bank. I mean, I've watched people right here fish. We fish here right often. And I'm going to show you all something. I'm going to show you all the ground here, okay? <laughs> See what I was saying earlier? That this is a spot. Uh, I'm back. I'm right here. <laughs> this is a spot that gets fished a lot. There's a path here. The ground is beat down here. People catch fish here. I fish here with other people. I've been here when it's been six people here. And that's why I'm throwing such a little bait. And I know y'all can't see this. I'm going to try to show you. There's a school of shad coming right there. You can see the riffles on the water. I'm going to get a big camera, guys, so I can show y'all stuff like that. Okay. In order to keep this from getting too long, I'm gonna set you back up so you can see Mason's back casting toward those shad. That's what we're doing. We're casting out toward the schools of shad that we see because we know that the bass are following those shad. They're around these schools of shad. So we're pitching these little baits and the shad are about this size. They're about two, two inch shads, but all bigger they are. We see them jumping out of the water. We're matching the hatch, all right? Guys, I'm throwing the three inch one here. I switched to the three inch one so I want to show you it works too. And Berkeley, y'all need to sponsor me. I don't have I don't have any sponsors, guys. But I'm showing I'm showing how well these Berkeley baits work. They ought to sponsor me. Now this is a smaller bass, but that's okay. See guys, this is on the three inch one. Let me give it some loose line here, knucklehead, it'll help you a little bit. And uh, I sharpened the hooks. It's got a good hook on it. And I took a little file and I sharpened it. He's a small one. He's about nine, ten inches. Uh, I don't know. I want to show y'all something. I bought this set of files. They're for metals and stuff. It's like six of them come in a pack for like ten dollars. They're perfect for a hook because they're about the size here. You know you can you can sharpen it. 
and uh, I check them. If they're not sharp, where they want to stick in my, try to stick in my thumbnail. And sometimes you can catch one bass, guys, and they're, and see now it's trying to stick in my fingernail. That's, it's sharp. I then lost an eye. There's something about the way they put these eyes, even on the good swim baits. I was throwing a mega bass the other day, and after about two fish, the eyes was gone. These, they glue those little eyes on. So they need to come up with a better way to put eyes on these baits. I'm sure y'all agree. Let's see if we can find another fish. Now, guys, I've caught five bass here this evening, all of them on these swim baits. It's all I brought with me was these two packs of swim baits, the power bait, swim bait focus. And uh, I was confident I could catch the fish. I see some more shad coming. I see some more shad coming. The shad will come up against this bank because this is the channel, the creek channel. And uh, Mason and I are going to catch a couple more. I think he's caught four. Four, yeah. So we've caught nine bass. We've been here in an hour, maybe. An hour. We figured we had an hour and a half to a dark. That's all we had. Oh, this, this ain't very big. This is a baby. I've caught crappy doing this, too, guys, because you're throwing. That's what this is, man. And here's a crappy right here. <laughs> he came on call. I was going to say, I've caught crappy here, too, because you're throwing a little... You're throwing a little swim bait. Now, some of y'all might go, I don't want to throw something that small, but you've seen the bass I caught. All right, I give myself some loose line here. I get him off, guys. There he come. Look at there. That's a nice crappie. He's probably 10 inches, Mason? Yeah, 10 inches. And uh, the crappie are here for the same reason, guys. They're after the, they're after the shad that are coming through here, this, down this creek channel. One little creek here. And uh, it's feeding into the lake. And they're, they're uh, after the shad. Now, you can, I don't know if y'all can see it. There's shad roughly right there. Now, mate, look here. Mason's got something. Oh, he lost it. He lost it. Mason had something. He lost it. But uh, we're seeing the shad here now. There's some shad riffling on the surface of the water. And we're casting in those areas because the crappie and the bass will follow those shad till they get an opportunity to get after them. Okay, guys, I'm going to get this one more fish in here for you. And I'm gonna shut this thing down. Oh, what is this? Oh boy, I got this is a nice crappy guys. Look here. Woohoo! Look at that one! Who do you think of that? I thought it was a bass the way he was fighting at first. Who do you think that crappy, Mason? Uh, Mason's smiling. He's saying that's a big one. That's a 14-inch. Look at that. Even if you don't like to catch crappy, guys, you've gotta say, when you catch crappy that big, wow. He's a nice one. Well, there goes supper. All right, guys, I'm going to close out on that fish. <laughs> We've been down here about an hour and 10 or 15 minutes, and I've caught five or six bass, two crappie, on a little two-inch power bait. That's all it is, power bait pokey. Three, three fifty a bag. Mason is stone Kytex. We all love those. And he just said a couple of minutes ago, he caught a bass, his Kytex gone. He said, man, I'm going through this pack of Kytex. He bought them up at the bait shop and he said they're like $7. And he's got, he only has a couple left. Well, let me show you something. Let me be fair about this, guys. I've had one swim bait destroyed. See what happens? Bass will, when they throw in that head, they'll throw the lead out of these little things sometimes. So. You know, these can be destroyed also. But uh, I went through one. He's went through probably three or four Kytex. I went through one. And I've got a couple more fish than he has. Uh, he's teaching me how to catch them. All right, guys. My name is Dennis, and this is Fishing Lake Country. And we're bank fishing, throwing pre rig swim baits. We had a great time when we caught some fish in a short time after work today. Mason's been to school today. We just come to a spot where everybody fishes but we're throwing something different than what they do. We're not throwing big worms and buzz baits and pop bars. We threw small swim baits. We'll see you next time on Fishing Lake Country right here. Subscribe, guys. Keep up with us. Appreciate you for watching. Appreciate you subscribing, guys, and help me grow this channel. We'll see you next time on Fishing Lake Country.